What's up water people? It's Red Erase back with another video for this new year 2020. If you're anything like I am, a humongous swim fan, you are so excited for this year in particular because the 2020 Summer Olympic Games are almost upon us. They're happening later on this year in Tokyo, Japan. The Olympics slash New Year is kind of making me think of all of the memorabilia I've collected over the years, not only as a swim fan, a swim reporter, but also just a swimmer myself. And I have a grab bag of treats I'm going to take a look through and invite you to join me and take a look at whose caps I have, whose signatures I have. I haven't looked at this memorabilia bag in a long time, so let's explore together. All right, so here's my bag that has, oh gosh, it's so heavy, full of memorabilia. I'm going to take things out one by one and we'll explore the significance who the swimmer is and perhaps if they're still active or maybe retired. First up, I have an exclusively signed cap by none other than American Olympian, Connor Yeager. Connor Yeager swam for University of Michigan, racked up in, uh, Big Ten and NCAA titles there, and also swam obviously for the United States and wrangled up some medals at the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. So this is a fitter and faster swim cap. He does swim clinics for them, uh, even though he's retired. And you can see his signature right down here. Hi, Connor Yeager. And I'm a super duper Go Blue fan because my dad went to Michigan. And so I have a family connection. So I'm super excited that he swam for Michigan. I have this cap and it's memorabilia number one. My memorabilia number two is a simple program from the 2014 European Championships. These took place actually in Berlin and I have a friend there, hi Danny Germany, who, sw who swims and also does some reporting in Germany and she was there uh, for the actual LEN uh, swimming, European Swimming Championships in 2014. So this basically is a guide, a media guide that has some of the history of the event some of the people who have won medals. This was, again, back in 2014. So way more is electronic now, even just five years, six years later. Also from the Berlin European Championships from 2014, I have the entire media booklet. This was a huge source of information back in 2014. Obviously times have changed. Times have been totally redone by athletes and we obviously just had the 2018 version of the European Championships here. However, this is still extremely valuable in terms of the information for the athletes who were competing at the time. Some of the international players for the European Championships in 2014. And it's really interesting to actually look at these swimmers' careers because like Jeanette Addison, for example, this was pre-baby, then she had her baby in 2017 started getting back to racing um, early of 2019. So this was just kind of interesting to see Jeanette Addison in here before she became a mom. Then there's Sarah Stostrom, Dorothy Brandt, uh, Ruta Maitete, who also went ahead and retired from Lithuania, total teen dynamo. Just a piece of history to take a look back, you know, four or five years ago and kind of see what these swimmers were up to when the European Championships took place then. Also, as a part of German swimming history is, can you make this guy out? Huh, huh, any guesses? Paul Biederman, reigning world record holder in the 200 and 400 freestyle. Uh, the 200 freestyle is a record that may not be broken. <laughs> it has been on the books forever, and in fairness to other swimmers, it is a super suited record, which means he was basically wearing um, a scuba suit. Um, however, this is just a signature card again from Paul Biederman and it has some statistics of the now retired swimmer yet still world record holder on the back. And any signature of a world record holder is super duper special Olympic medalist. So glad I had this in my possession. Alrighty, I got another cap to show you guys. This is a dome cap, United States. And for those of you who know who this is, I don't know if you can tell from the signature, Oh, well, it's actually right by his name anyway. It's Charlie Houchin. Swam not only for the United States, but also for Michigan as well. This is a cap that he had signed as part of a contest, I believe, on Twitter for his uh, swimming company that he owns that does uh, summer swim meet timing, which is really, really cool. And I'll put a link to his site below, as well as the fitter and faster that I mentioned earlier. However, this is just, again, um, a, a person who is now since retired, 
still very involved in the sport and it's nice to have the stars and stripes on a cap that I can kind of keep and look at as a piece of history. Okay, I'm not even sure what this is. I'm taking it out and I see Jimmy Fegan on the back and then I see Michael Phelps on the front. And this is the US Olympic Trials heat sheet from Wednesday, June 29th, 2016. I was lucky enough to go to Omaha um, basically four years ago, see the trials up close and personal. I got awesome seats with my friends. It was terrific. Did a little reporting, but not all that much. It was mainly a social trip um, slash swim nerd trip. However, uh, I didn't realize, I forgot that the heat sheets were actually in this new paper format, which is pretty cool. So this, it gives you an example of what they look like on the inside. I'll try to pan the camera so that you can take a look and see you know, what all is involved. But it's just a pretty detailed heat sheet that says you know, people's best times, what they did in the morning, if this was a semifinal or final. Um, you know, obviously what lane they're in, what club they swim for, things like that. Let's see who else I have here. Let's see if I can find a Michael Phelps. Let's see, 200 breast, not gonna be him. Let's see who else we have here. Ah, who do we have, who do we have? Women's 200 IM, so that's pretty interesting. Can you name two or three swimmers that were in the 2016 Olympic Trials 200 IM final at Olympic Trials? Mm -hmm. How about Miss Madison Cox, Bethany Galat, Megan Small, Caitlin Leverance, Ellie Easton, Emily Cameron, Maya Dorado? There we go, people. Now you know. Here we go. Here's the final with Michael Phelps' name on it. 200 fly. Bingo. There he is. And he would obviously go on to win the gold in Rio, which was quite phenomenal. But here he landed lane four in, let's see what his morning time was. It was 155.17. So that's what he was entering that final in. He would obviously earn his bid basically for the 2016 Olympic Games. And this is just a tremendous piece of history because it obviously, as far as we know, is gonna be his last Olympic Games. So they have a heat sheet that has Michael Phelps' name on it, as well as his face on the cover is super duper precious. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is so super special because she's one of my favorite swimmers. This is a signed cap from the Iron Lady herself from Hungary, Katinka Hosu, who, if you know anything about swimming at all, you have to know who she is. I mean, winning a swimmer essentially of all time across European Championships, World Championships, Olympic Games, she kicked butt in Rio. She is pretty much, in my, in my opinion, the favorite for the 200 IM, 400 IM double coming up here in Tokyo. However, this is a pink cap and it has her signature of Katinko Hosu on there. She is the Iron Lady, no doubt. And it's just a super duper special memorabilia piece that I have in my collection that no matter if she retired today, she would be one of the best swimmers of all time and one of the most versatile swimmers of all time. So just having this in my little collection is an inspiration, knowing how hard she works, some of the personal struggles that she's had in her life, um, but she's persevered and is still on top of the world and someone whom I look up to and who I draw inspiration from just again in terms of how hard she works. Okay, we are nearing the end of my collection and this is just a snippet of it. I'm just kind of giving you a high level view of things that I haven't looked at in a long time and I'm so glad I found this when I was putting away my Christmas decorations. This is actually a picture, signed picture from Michael Andrew. And full disclosure, I work with him and his family. They are terrific people, truly an inspiration, someone who you can't say a bad thing about. This was actually taken a long time ago. It's world junior champion. He's since actually a senior champion. Two thousand fifteen hundred IM at Windsor, the uh, World Short Course Championships there, and he also won four national titles at the two thousand eighteen Summer Nationals. So big time stuff happening with Michael Andrew. And finally, we all know Ryan Lochte for better or for worse. He is our Ryan Lochte of the United States, still swimming, still chugging along. However, I have a pair of his little jammers, and when I say little, I mean little. I mean seriously, I don't know what size. Let's see, these people wear. They're signed by him. They were worn by him. And these are 27. And I don't even think I could get my foot into these. But um, luckily, I don't need to try. Uh, however, this is an actual jammer. He was Speedo at the time. So these are a Speedo jammer. These are signed. And these are actually worn. Let's get the signature up close there so you can see it. Oh, can you see it right there? I don't know if it's showing up too well. I'll try to circle it. So these are, again, he was with Swim Elite. He was training on the East Coast in Charlotte. And 
again, this is something that he wore either at the pro swim or maybe another, I forget what meet it was that he actually raced these in. Uh, he's since gone to tier. He's still sponsored. He's still shaking. He's still, you know, making waves. And his best bet probably for Tokyo is a 200 IM. There is a chance he could also make it in the 200 free at the very least as a relay swimmer. So that's definitely a possibility. However, that's one of the most stacked events um, in the U.S. repertoire, basically, for men right now and women for that matter. Uh, but he's still kicking and still has a shot. So, again, say what you will about Ryan, for better or for worse. Bottom line, he's still a face of American swimming. So it's very exciting that I have a piece of his history in my collection. And this probably will be his last uh, Olympic Games or attempt at Olympic Games. So it's important that we kind of recognize how much he's given to the United States swimming. And he's also the second most decorated Olympic swimmer of all time behind number one, Michael Phelps. Okie doke, so that's my collection. Again, just with Christmas ending, I was putting away some decorations. Wanted to get in my hands in this me uh, memorabilia bag that's been on my shelf for so long and take a look and see, you know, some of the memories that I have collected over the years. And as a swim reporter, I'm lucky enough to meet and interact with people on a regular basis. I think having a piece, a tangible piece, you know, of who these people are uh, helps me make that connection and makes me um, that much better of a reporter. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't worry, there'll be plenty more in 2020, especially with the Olympic Games coming up. So go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so that you're notified of all my videos that I release. And until next time, have an awesome day.